And we talked about this yesterday on the show that reports that Valerie Jarrett uh, is moving in closer with the Obamas and that there is going to be uh, a more concerted effort to go after the Trump administration uh, by elements connected to the president. Uh, how long do you think that that continues? Do you think that's too much of a conspiracy theory? Or do you think it's legit? No, no. Look, I think maybe Michael Moore and George Soros will be moving in next. It, it, it's, it's, it is the permanency of this opposition. That's all they have right now is to distract from President Trump's agenda. We cannot allow that. We have to move forward. We have to move swiftly. And that's what our congressional leadership needs to do. Look, President Obama doesn't have, unfortunately, the respect for the office that President Bush did. President Bush, when, when President Obama came in, he went away. He was not heard from. I think that you're seeing more of him today, eight years later, than you did in the, in the days and months uh, in, in, of, of President Obama's term. So I think you're, you know, and President Clinton, for that matter, went away. I don't understand why, pre I do understand. It is the permanent campaign. It is the permanent obstruction by the left. It's all they have now. They are, were shocked in November that Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. lost, and it's really the only thing they have to hold well, on to. Well, we've got one poll that shows a slight majority, 53%, say it's time to stop protesting the president, move on. Uh, we'll see. On I don't expect that to be the case in Washington or beyond. David Bossie, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.